guys, it's Kelly Ann and welcome to another Flossy Friday. Today is June 26th. Good Lanta. Um, the year is honestly just flying by and uh, it's weird and crazy. Um, how is everyone doing? Um, I hope that y'all are having a great week. Um, mine has been crazy. Crazy. So let's just get the life update out of the way. Uh, this is probably going to be a shorter video as I do not have that much to show you because I mean, every time I go back home to my dad's, I'm like, I'm going to have so much free time. I'm going to finish all these little things. Did not happen guys. Um, I got to my dad's, uh, Saturday and we ran around all afternoon all the way up until having to go cook dinner and have, um, sorry, there, I got new bird feeders this weekend, like a whole cool setup and Potter's loving that. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'll try not to get distracted by the cute cat watching the birds. Um, but all the way up to cooking dinner and then whenever we got home, watched TV for a little bit and then I pass out early. Um, sometimes the drive, it's not a crazy length of time, but anytime that I have to drive somewhere, um, and I'm not in a car with like other people. So I'm the sole driver and there's nobody in the car to entertain me. And Potter literally cries for two hours straight. Uh, I get very tired. <laughs> So, um, I didn't stay up. I didn't stitch Saturday night. Sunday, I got to stitch a little bit that night because I purposely stayed up. Um, and then I got to stitch Monday whenever I got home after my dentist appointment, which I have to go back in August. Yeah. Yes, I have to go back in August. So that's going to be exciting. Not. Um, I haven't needed anything more than a cleaning since I was maybe like 10. So it'll be uh, interesting. So um, anyways, uh, once I got back to work um, this week on Tuesday, we found out some really, well, Tuesday was normal. It was a little crazy, but it was normal. Wednesday, we found out that um, in our division, 151 people got made full-time work-from-home staff, which if you've ever worked for a state government agency before, it's not normal. <laughs> like that's really unusual. So um, that's gonna be my life soon. Um, we heard that it. We heard Wednesday from the meeting that a select staff went to because it's a, a staff council meeting, so not everybody's on the council. Um, uh, we heard from staff council that this is going to be happening within the next two to three weeks. We heard yesterday that it's going to be August 1st. Now, I don't see how they're going to clear. I don't personally see how they're going to clear us all out, clear out the whole ground floor level enough and rearrange it for the other staff to come in. So basically we're consolidating locations to prevent rifting in the next fiscal year. Um, because we saved a lot of money having people home. Shocker. Um, so the people that can easily work from home, they're sending us to work from home. We will have to come in like once a week or once every other week to like a collaborative uh, work room. So that way we can social distance. I don't know where this collaborative work, work room is going to be in our building. Don't know. Uh, 
no clue. Uh, but so that way we can work in person one once every one to two weeks with our full team, um, as well as you know managers be able to come in and see us and talk to us and you know touch base in person. Um, and if there's any really big meetings that can't be done via Zoom or team, not Zoom, Teams or Skype, um, then we may have to go up to the office for live meetings every once in a while. But I'm about to be a stay-at-home person sometime within the next two to four weeks. So um, yesterday we like I've already brought home I have I have a little bit left but I've already packed up and brought home almost all of my personal stuff um, and all that I'll have left is my computer setup and my manuals and stuff that I need to bring home so I've been looking at uh, home setups which I already have a desk and everything but I need a multi I need a multi um, screen holder uh, and possibly one of those little things that boosts up your laptop uh, for my desk to make it all fit because I'm gonna have a laptop and two monitors so craziness so a lot has happened so um, I've I've just I've only worked on three things so I'm gonna show you those three things um, by the time this goes up ducks are not going to be able to be bought so hopefully you got your ducks um it closes today at noon so um this is probably going to go up afternoon um and what else oh yeah still be kind and change skin tones and Uh, be inclusive uh, and keep educating yourself because that's all that we can do right now, right? Okay, um, so that's all like the base announcements. It's just been a crazy, like, it's just been crazy. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. I've got to figure out my home office setup. I've got, I've got desperately have to clean. This house is driving me crazy and I haven't been able to keep it as clean as I was whenever I was at home. So um, there's that. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna show you the super exciting one last. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. All right. So uh, I started this yesterday on my lunch break. Yes, yesterday on my lunch break. Um, honestly, this is just a 32 count um, linen uh, that was gifted to me. It was in like one of those. Um, it's older. I don't remember the brand, but it's. In like one of the packages that you get from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, right? Like, you know, it was in one of those, but it was a 32 count. Um, and it's from one of my quilt friends, uh, stash from whenever she used to cross stitch. Um, and yeah, this is a pattern by the little stitcher. Yes. This is a pattern by The Little Stitcher, and um, it's called Dear Santa. Yeah, bud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. I thought he can be in frame. Um, okay, so I believe it's called Dear Santa. It's by The Little Stitcher, um, and Potter. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, she's dropping a letter off in the mail. So this is my tiny, tiny start. Um, it's a really super simple color palette. It's, um, I don't, it's, uh, literally like four or five colors, but I'm making it more colors. Um, because I made her jacket green, so I'm going to make her outfit like a mixture of red, green, and white. Um, and I'm going to make the, the mailbox style is very British style, the red with all the different like, kind of like tiers. 
Um, but I am going to make it blue because this is a gift and it's staying in the U.S. So I thought it would be fun to make it blue. What are you observing? There's nothing happening. Mm, kid is cracked out this morning apparently. Aren't we all a little? Okay. Um, I started something this week because I just couldn't help myself. Um, and I printed out the cover sheet because that's where the color list was. Um, so I pulled several pieces of my own fabric that I dyed eons ago that I've, I haven't wanted to stitch anything on because they were kind of like my first pieces whenever I was initially dyeing fabric for others under the name the dyed panda and I never wanted well I always wanted to use them but I always felt bad in using them and I've just kind of gotten over that because clearly I know how to make them I could always replicate them hello little man see how he just sits there like kind of like a little man like a little dude just like chilling out <laughs> his kicker toy okay um <laughs> he's a silly bean okay um so I pulled three different fabrics two of them were 18 count one of them was 14 count and truly the the the, the five people that I asked all picked the same fabric and I decided to go with it now I was going to flip the fabric and put the yellow at the top and I started and accidentally put the yellow at the bottom. It's not going to be a big deal. I was just trying to like reverse the colors some. But it is what it is. Okay so anyways I started tequila. Um, I want a salad. Uh, I don't think anybody has joined me yet. But I did post it on my stories the other day. Um, whenever I started it which I think was it was possibly Wednesday, I believe that I started this. Um, so it's just hashtag tequila sal. It's literally all that it is. Um, and it's by Citrovia. It's available on her Etsy. I've already com color completed one color. Um, but, uh, it's so much fun to stitch. It's going by really fast. It is going to be kind of massive because it is going to be on the 14 count. So it's going to be eight and a half by, t by almost 13. Which is fine. I mean, it's fine. Um, but anyways, it's only four. It's four pages. It's so much fun though, guys. It's so bright and so colorful. Um, so this is a 14 count piece of Ada that I dyed myself. And this one was called Splatter. I believe. So I used to sell this fabric and it was called Splatter. Um, and so that's where I'm at. So by the way, if you start this, this green, the 700 is only used in the word wedge, just so you know. Um, and then you've already completed a color. <laughs> I like to color complete. Okay. So, uh, I have wedge, um, of, and then, um, I do have two colors that are not readily available at the moment in my color box. So, um, I'm either possibly going to swing by and pick them up so that way I don't have holes or I'm just going to figure out what whip they're in and I'm going to just pull a couple of links or like a links worth at a time um so I don't have these holes but right now that's why there's that's why I moved the hoop and there's blanks because there are two colors that I do not have sitting out right now to go with this but um last night so I did wedge on the first night and um, then I've worked on this three nights. Yes, three nights. Um, just a little bit. I like I've been working on other on the on the other one that I'm going to show you. Um, and yeah, so uh, last night I did the of I did the flowers and finished this filigree. I did this of. And I started the word salt. So that's where I'm at. I'm working on, basically I'm working on page two. 
right here. Um, so I'll probably do page, I'll probably do the top half and then move to the bottom half. But so see what I mean? Like I was going to put the yellow at the top. So that way the yellow was more on the top and not where the tequila glass was going to be. But the yellows in the tequila shot, um, you'll see them. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but that was, I was, <laughs> I had it in the hoop. I had it like ready to go. And um, I had even said like, oh, I'm going to put the yellow on the top. So that way, like, you know, the colors are kind of opposite. Because also like the big blue letters are going to go through like the purple blue spot. And I wanted them to go through. See what I'm saying? Like I wanted it to be reversed. But I realized whenever I was halfway through the word wedge, and I was like, yeah, I'm not picking that. Not picking it. But um, all the colors to this are super fun and super bright. Um, like, I mean, you can see you can see what I've done so far, but there's also this bright orange, this hot pink, um, and then the yellows, and then whatever the two colors that I'm missing, which I think one is a pink. I'm pretty sure one is a pink and one is another orangey color, I think. It might be, there might be another, there's another yellow. I don't know, anyways. Okay, <laughs> just toss it. Yeah, there's another yellow and then I think another pink. I think that's what it is. 973 I'm pretty sure is a yellow and 957 though I can't remember. I think it's a pink. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, and if you really like this pattern, I think it was like six, maximum $7, I think. I think it was like six something. But maximum $7 on Stitch Rovia's Etsy. You get the PDF. You get it in color format, single page format, and black and white. I printed out the black and white because I'm a highlighter girl. Um, and it's just super fun and bright and it looks great on a neutral, but it also looks fun on a funky fabric. So join all the sows, right? Okay. So drum roll, you're going to have to do it at your house though, because if I do it, I'm going to shake this and I don't want to do that to you guys. Um, I finished Halloween rolls. Yay. Um, uh, so I finished it. It's on a 32 count Lugana by Pictures Plus in the color Sterling. And here it is, you guys. It is done. Oh my gosh, I can't get it all in. There we go. Yes. So, um, Halloween Rules is finished. And I put it in the order that I... If I had to do, if these were my rules on Halloween, this is the order that I would do them in. So we have, so at the top of the night, you would carve your pumpkins. You might wander around after that and go scare a scarecrow. You always want to mind your mummy. Then obviously you would put on your costume so that way you could go trick or treating to eat the candy. Then you might need to take a break, have something to drink. Then we're going to stay up late and visit a haunted house because you can't do that earlier in the night, right? It's got to be, I don't know. I don't go to haunted houses, but if you do, I would, I would have to go during the day and the lights in the building not be off. I'm that much of a chicken. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. I don't like jump scares. It's just, that's just who I am. Um, I can do gore. I can do gore all day, but jump scares? No, 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 no. Anyways, visit a haunted house. While you're at a haunted house, you're obviously going to greet a ghost. Then you're going to howl at the moon. And if you do all that, then you're spooktacular. Anyways, that's why I put it in that order. Uh, I've been talking about that since I started it, it back in 2018, I believe. So there's, what? Are you Okay. Why do you keep on whining? How can we help you? Tell the people. How can we help you? <laughs> I'm just going to keep trying to get him in frame. Um. So yeah. 
That's my Halloween rules. I'm super, super excited. So what are the legit plans for this week? So I still have some of these smaller guys. Um, like I have, uh, well, I only have the, I only have my working copy in here right now. Um, cause I really don't want to ruin this, the actual copy of this one. Cause then we're going to pass the stash. Cause this was passed to me by patience. Um, I have this small guy spell of the moon that I want to maybe get a finish on. Um, my modern folk, see, I'm not going to mess it up this week. Modern folk embroidery earth day that I'm almost done with. Um, so next week, these two will probably become, um, uh, I'll probably make these my lunch stitches next week um, once my little little girl is done dropping off her mail. Um, and so those three smalls, so the little girl I really need to get done because it has a deadline. Um, once she's done, I'll pick one of these two to be my lunch stitches um, until I'm working from home. Uh, and then once I'm working from home, I guess we'll just see how I want to handle lunch break. I mean, obviously I'm going to stitch on lunch break, but we'll see if I want to work on my main piece or if I want to keep a small active, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll see how that, we'll see how that rotates. Um, so those are like the smalls that I'm going to be focusing on, on my lunch break over the next several, like couple of weeks. Um, this weekend, I'm going to do a little bit of a combination. I'm going to work on tequila some more because um, that one's just been so nice to work on with all the craziness going on because uh, it's just, it's bright and colorful and I don't know why, but it's really soothing to work on. But talking about soothing in a different type of way with what's going on, hi. Hi. It's seven, by the way. Um, with what's going on in, with the craziness of the world, you know what I'm, what I'm saying. So, I like working on tequila to like relax my mind of what's going on in my personal bubble. But one that has been that was really comforting to work on in the craziness of a global sense bubble. Um, I'm hopefully explaining that correctly. Is uh this? This is the um. United We Stand by Teresa Kogut. I am see I'm getting better, you guys. Um, and using this for, uh, I don't want to get the hashtags wrong. Because uh, there's, there's, okay, so it's um, SWTS United. So Stitching with the Sisterlies United. Um, and it's also... For um, diversity and inclusion, Sal, and representation matters, Sal. Um, it's this is such a fantastic pattern. I love it on this fabric. I love the colors that I picked. So this weekend, I'm putting a focus on uh, these two lovely ladies um, from my Instagram. Jeez, oh, let me. I have to tone down the brightness on my phone. I turned it up earlier because I was watching YouTube. Um, I'm going to work on these two ladies this weekend and also a little bit of tequila um, uh, through next week because I would love to get this finished by 4th of July. That would be a fantastic goal. May or may not happen, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, but uh, I'm going to put a lot of time and effort into this piece this week um, and also give some love to tequila. Uh, and then, uh, well, that'll be starting in July. In, in July, we're going to put a really big focus on getting Cloud's Factory uh, Giant Harry Potter finish. It's my oldest whip. It's from 2015, and... I know that's a really long time to have a whip, but this thing is also 28 pages and three feet long, so it's massive. Uh, and I think I have like I have like 13 or 14 pages complete, so I'm doing pretty good. Okay, um, I, well, not great. There's a lot. There's a lot on that piece. Um, so 
July is going to put a big focus on getting that one finished. It's something that I've wanted to have done for a while, um, but I never give myself enough time. I get a lot of progress every year whenever I work on it, but I only give myself like a week or two. No, I'm. I, it's going to be a focus finish piece. I want to get it finished. I want to get it finished. I want to get it finished to where all I need is help with the... Um, I think I have like four... Um, what are they called? I can't do them. The little dots. Oh my gosh. There's like four or five French knots left on it. And um, I can't do them. So... I want to get it to a spot where if we have embroidery bee, uh, if we start having, they had embroidery bee this, this last month. If we have embroidery bee again, um, and I feel comfortable enough to go, I'm going to get one of my friends to help me do the French knots. I want to be at a place where they can help me with do the French knots. Um, and yes, I've practiced colonial knots. I've practiced French knots. I've been shown by many people. My mom showed, my mom tried teaching me majority of my life. I cannot master it. I pull it too tight. I can't, I can't hold the tension right. I have the, I have nerve damage. I, I just, I can't do it. You know, uh, it just is what it is. I do try. I do still try. Um, but it always pulls through and doesn't hold and I get really frustrated and this is a piece that I don't want to have a bunch of little weird lines everywhere that I can't pick out because they get so tight in there you know what I'm saying so um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my due diligence and ask for help um Susie helped me out with the first French knot uh in the Gryffindor banner so there I have one or I have a one in each of the last three banners and then there's one on Professor Trelawney, I think. There's one or two on Professor Trelawney and I haven't gotten to her yet. So anyways, long story short, July is going to heavily be giant Harry Potter. I want to get it finished. I so desperately want to get it finished um, and getting some of these like smaller ones done. That's that's going to be the goal for July. The goal for this next week, though, is United We Stand and Tequila and also working on a small. Uh, probably my little gift one. That's what's going on. That's, that's this week. It's been crazy. I thought this video was going to be shorter, but we had a special guest. I don't know why he was whining. Sometimes he just wants attention, and I can't always give it to him because I'm doing things like this. So then he just lays next to me and makes me feel bad. So, um, anyways, <laughs> um, I hope that this was a good video for you guys. It's a little all over the place. My mind though this week is a little all over the place. Um, Monday, which I wasn't at work cause I had a doctor's appointment, um, was the first day back in the office where everyone was back cause they phased us in. And um, two days later, they told us that half of us were going home again. So for good, like for good. Um, we don't have to choose to work from home. I, guess, I should state this. We don't have to choose to work from home, but everyone else on my team is. So if I chose to work from work, I would get put in a random area with random people, which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I know all the people in my building. It has nothing to do with that. But if I had questions or needed help on something my team wouldn't be there so there's that um but 150 of us are losing our offices and that's why they're going to, we're going to be on this rotating schedule of coming in once every like week or two because obviously they can't overwhelm this common workspace right because of covid um but they want us to come in so that way they can still see us. We can still see people. You know, we can still meet up with our team at least once or twice a month in person, uh, which my team already talked about. We're going to make that happen um, social distanced, uh, but we're going to pick once a month one of our houses. That person's going to cook for everyone, and we're going to have a team meeting lunch slash collaborative work session once a month 
um, at each other's house, um, but doing it socially distanced and wise and smart and all of that jazz. So we've already discussed how we would make this permanent change a little bit different from what was what turned out to be a temporary change um, at the start of all of this. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be something new. It's going to be something different. So like, you know, my mind has been racing all week. Um, so this video is a little scattered. I'm a little scatterbrained at the moment. A lot is happening. A lot is changing and it's happening faster than, than, you know, it's kind of like all of 2020, you know, everything is happening so fast. It's hard to process. We're all doing the best that we can to process everything that's going on, continuously figure it out. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Like, this is just the name of 2020, right? So, um, anyways, I hope that y'all have had a fantastic week, a great week stitching, a great week with your friends and family and however you're dealing with everything that's going on. Um, stay safe, sane and stitching, uh, and let's chat down below and I will see you guys next Friday. Also, bye Potter. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>